Hello, this is Vance, and this is Thursday, November the 17th, 2016, and these are the seal trades for today using the slow hand method for price action. Well, I wanted to show this. This is a demonstration trade. I put this on as a second entry long off this bottom. I've got these uh, markers on here. I'll explain those later. But what I wanted to do was to show a... Uh, uh, a trade with a single contract, 15 ticket target, 15 tick stop. Uh, I placed this trade right here. Now, the reason I got it, it's a second entry long. Now, the reason I have a green marked here, and let me just expand this a little bit. Uh, the reason I've got a green here is because um, I wanted to show this. Now, I have it in green because it's second entry long, but you can see these tickets right here, we had a pulled down, we had a break of this trend channel, it price pulled back, now it didn't, to be a first entry, this has to be below that, but I'm just using this as a second entry example, this is definitely a pullback, price dropped down here again, pulled back here, and as you can see, what I did was I put in a, a, uh, uh, a buy order right at this area, as soon as this bar closes, this is my signal bar, price came up here, it filled, and I've been sitting here with it. 15 tick stop, which is below this, what I think of area of support, and my 15 tick target, which is below this double, this top right here, this high of the day. So that's why I have this trade on here. Now, the reason I wanted to show this example, um, right now it's at 10 ticks, so you, what you could do is you can move this up to break even, so this is now a scratch trade, uh, or it's gonna hit the target. The reason I wanted to show this as a second entry uh, was because, uh, first of all, sometimes second entries aren't as clearly defined as I've described. In other words, we have the reason I looked at the second entry, price came down this area right here off the bottoms, pulled back, broke the tr channel, came back here, and this is the second entry long. But it's not with trend. This is the, the well, it, we, arguably this is with trend because off the overnight, price has been moving up. So you can say that this is a with trend trade after a break of the trend channel, whatever the way you want to describe it. But definitely a second entry. Um, apart from you know this this rule when you when we look at counting, this is the first entry. Even though the price, based on this 800 tick chart, is at 40, uh, 40, uh, 45, 16. Now, I'm waiting for this to go to completion for my 15 ticks. Um, right now, I'm ahead in the trade. My argument is, is that if you're trying to learn the slow hand method using second entries, use this on every, use this approach on every second entry you see, regardless of whether it's a good second entry or a poor second entry. This is, you know, I put this one in green. It's definitely a second entry, but it's not the greatest of second entries as far as uh, uh, a setup is concerned. My hope, see, and then do 50 60, 70, 100 trades. Do it live. Do it in sim. Um, you know, like I wouldn't I suggest not to use your own money, but as practice, use it in historical. And after you get 50, 60, 70, 100 trades, see how you get comfortable with doing exactly what I've done here. Uh, put one contract on 15 tick stop, 15 tick target on the CL using the 80, 800 tick chart and see and keep your statistics. See how you work out um, with some very simple rules. That is what I would, and then review it at the end of the day. All that, depending on how long you sit, do it between, you know, like in replay between the hours, the trading hours of 9 a.m. to, I don't know, 11, 30, 12 o'clock. You should get a bunch of second entries in there with trend or uh, uh, you should get a bunch of second entries in there. Uh, either wherever they show up, those setups should present themselves. Take them. And after a period of time, you should be able to uh, recognize them much more quickly in real time, close on the signal bar, etc., and uh, go from there. So I'm just going to sit here and we're just going to wait this thing out to see if it goes to target. If it doesn't go to target, that's fine. Um, it's, it, as I said, it's just a practice exercise to uh, get one familiar with uh, trading in real time or as the, the chart develops. And it will give you that eye to, because we're trying to anticipate what the future market is going to be. So um, I hope this is uh, helpful. So just a short video to give you an idea and have a good day. Bye for now.